Hey guys, how's it going? James here from Cardio Etc. Another project on the Legacy. Again, more lights this time. Um, so today, just a real, real quick, quick project today. Hopefully it's real quick and not complicated. Um, I've got some lights I need to change out. The park lights and the little lights that go above my number plate at the back. So at the moment, this is what I'm dealing with. Just got these ones here, park lights wet it's raining outside plain old boring you know yellow uh, candescent bulbs in the park lights and then over the tail light same thing oh not the tail light so over the number plate same thing plain old candescent bulbs those are going to be swapped out for leds normally for this sort of thing i would swap them out to like sort of um ice white sort of led things but i've gone for something different it's either going to work or it's not going to work like look wise it may look right or it might not okay so here's what i got myself and those and those here's a sneak peek at my daytime running lights we'll get them installed at some point here's the four bobs i've got so these ones are going to go in the park lights they're just little t10 led replacements and then for the number plate ones, as you can see, there is a definite difference between the two types here. This one's got like a great big sort of uh, clear glass diffuser on it. And this one has like, I think uh, five SMDs mounted on it. So I intentionally went for the different ones. I'm hoping that these ones are gonna be more sort of spotlighty and uh, uh, like sort of obvious from the front, because these are gonna go in the park lights. Because what I did have in my Legnum was I had white ones like these uh, in the front and what I noticed over time was that the individual SMDs started dying and they started like flickering on and off and also you can see the individual SMDs when they're on and I didn't really like that so this one I'm hoping is going to look a bit more nice maybe so that's what I've got for the front and then the back I've just gone the standard uh, 5 SMD ones hopefully these ones will sort of glow light in a more omnidirectional fashion, which is what I'm gonna want for over the number plate. Um, cost, dollar for the pair, dollar for the pair, and then I paid like maybe five bucks shipping on each pair. So it was about six bucks for each pair. So not too bad. Let's, um, let's do the park lights first. Here goes all the water running off. I love how this car has gas struts for the bonnet and you don't have to pop a stay up or anything like that. Right. So this side is pretty easy to replace, I'm pretty sure, because the park light is right about, wait, where is it? It's there. I think it's this one here. Wait, what? Where's it go? Oh, it's up the top there. Kind of have to squeeze my hand around. There we go. There's the park light. Oh, it's a wee bit warm. Looks like it's gonna fit. Now, because these are LEDs, obviously I do need to test the polarity and figure out which side is positive and negative. I've already tested the LEDs, so I know which pins on these are positive and negative, but I need to do the car. Negative there, now. Not that side. That side is positive, okay. Hmm. Oh, look at that, guys. As you can tell, I have gone for blue. Put this in the hole. There we go, it's, it's in. Oh my God, I do like it. I was curious about whether or not I would like blue because normally I would go sort of ice white, but blue is just something different. Doesn't look too great, I think, with the yellow fog light, but that is gonna change at some point as well. That's cool, let's do the other one. This one's a bit tricky, I have to take all of this off, I think. One, two, that just comes off and sits up there. Okay. Ah, it's hot. This one's not flickering, so that's good. Now yeah, getting this back in the hole. In and twist, yes. Sweet. I think that actually looks quite cool. Something different. Let's see what it looks like with the dip lights. Because the thing with park lights is they actually don't have to 
do any real like illumination of sorts they kind of just have to make you more visible to other people on the road so it doesn't really matter what color they are like so there's no standards with it they don't have to be yellow or white or anything like that you can make them whatever color you want sweet park lights done Cool. They actually look really cool, guys. All right, let's do the back ones. And these things are a wee bit annoying to undo. Here come, there's one. There's two, sweet. Okay, which side of this is positive? Oh, it does, look. Okay, so it looks like the top one is positive. And... Same on that one, so the ones at the top are the positive side. Sweet. Should be able to get that going. And you click. And you click. Come on. It's in there, but I can't tell. Oh, no, now it's in. Sweet. One. Is it going in? I think that's in all the way, yep. Hopefully the covers still go back on. <laughs> Hopefully these make enough light that you can actually still see the number plate at night because if they don't, I might be getting pulled over and I might change them to ice white. Okay, they're all in. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh. Oh, cool. Yes. <laughs> oh. Pop. That, those are popping. Those are cool. I like it. Gives an extra element to the back. Sweet. Sweet. And that's it for this miniature little project, guys. Hope you think it looks cool. I'm quite happy with it. Sweet. That looks, that looks good. And the back. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I suppose you guys are wanting to know what else I'm gonna do. Hmm. Okay, so these things here, I got them off eBay. Who knows if they're gonna be any good or not. They're flexible white tubes, which have white LEDs inside them and also amber LEDs. So you can have, so when the car is turned on, these will light up white, like, you know, daytime running lights. And then when the indicators flash, they flash orange. Where I'm thinking I'm gonna put them, hold on, I'm gonna turn those off. So the idea I wanted to go for was this chrome bezel piece which is inside here, I wanted to cover that. So it's kind of like a, you know, that sort of shape. But I think the ones I've bought might be too long. I, th I know there are different lengths, but, and I got a 60 centimeter set. I think that might be too long because that seems to go all the way along and down to about there. I'm not sure if you can trim them or not. Plan, one day I'll uh, get around to it and try and take this cover off the headlight. Who knows if I'm gonna fuck that up or not. I'm sure it's glued. So there's that. I'm toying with the idea of putting halos on there as well. Maybe. Um, that or like, you know, halos either on the outside of that HID or potentially even on the inside so that it just glows around the big glass bulb there but I am not sure if halo lights um, or not halo, if HIDs put off much heat or not because obviously I don't want the heat to kill whatever I put around it so you guys may have to answer that for me if you know um, these headlights I also plan on wrapping them in chameleon wrap if you know what that is it's uh, kind of it's a clear vinyl wrap that you put around it and depending on what way you look at it, it reflects different colours. I think that'll just, you know, add to it and look quite cool. We'll see how that goes. Down here, I'm thinking if I do the chameleon wrap up here, I should do it down here as well, just so it matches. Um, these pods are fog lights. I don't know, I, like, because you can get HID replacements similar to those, like the white ones, to go in here. I was thinking that at first, but they also do a version which has that and the halo ring around it as well. So there is that option. But I don't want it to be like too much, you know, I feel like going halo here and halo there and a driving like, like it's just going to be way too much, if you know what I mean. But there's all sorts of things you can do for lights on these, obviously you can do that thing, 
halos down here, halos in there. Up here, there's really, really nice suitable spots for like LED bars. You can put LED bars under here or under here. There's just so many different options and I'm not sure what I want to go for. What I would really like is if that chrome bezel just glowed white, which was what I was trying to kind of, go, uh, kind of trying to go for with those things I just showed you. But who knows if they're going to work or not or if it's actually going to look any good. It might end up looking a wee bit cheap, which is not what I want. But I do want some form of daytime running lights. So yeah, there's multiple options. There's these things, which I think I probably will try and do something with. There's halos in the main unit, in the main headlight unit. Halos or angel eyes, whatever you want to call them. There's, you know, HIDs or HIDs with a halo ring down here as well. I don't think, I, I, I probably won't do anything like here like I had in the Legacy, those hanging bars. I wanted to go more OEM styles for this car as opposed to aftermarket. So everything's meant to look as OEM as possible, but still modified, if that makes sense. I just don't want it, anything hanging off it. So that's all the uh, LEDs covered. On to the next step, which will be, who knows, in a few or some days time. Uh, I'm gonna connect this, the end of this video with the door emblem light video, because I realize this has just been a short one, but I haven't got those yet, so I don't know when they're gonna arrive. So I'll see you then. See ya. So for the second part of this video, I have the LED laser things have arrived today some time down the track. They've taken a while to get here. So, oh, let's unlock that. So I'm going to try and awkwardly do this in the gap between my car here, but basically this light has to come, this light here has to come out, and one of these has to go in. Let's try and do this awkwardly in this tiny gap here. Open these things up. Come on. Oh, it's cold. Windy. Anti-static bag. So what's cool about these ones that I like is that, you know, it's just a straight replacement. You don't have to do anything. You can just literally unplug one, plug the other in. Let's, uh, let's try it. I'm going to have to use a key of some sort, I think, to try and pop this out because I haven't got my tools with me. How does this thing come out? I need a screwdriver. I think. Yep, I need a screwdriver. Be right back. Okay, so if I can get this to pop out with a screwdriver. Oh, maybe it pops out of this end. Ah, it does. <laughs> Pulling it from the wrong end. It always helps. Okay, so theoretically, this should just work. Oh, it does. It needs to go in that way, but it won't fit because there's things in the way. It only fits in this way. Just like that. Well, give you guys an idea. There you go, if you can see. Sabaru, coming from there. If I close the door. Oh, let's do the other one. Okay. Straight replacement. Cool. Well, so they look cool. I wish they were facing the other way though, like 180 degrees. And I would rotate this thing, this slide, but it doesn't, like, it has, oh, it has to go in that way, rather than that way, because there's plastic in the way. But I suppose what it means is that when you get out of the car, you look down there and you can read it. If it was the other way, you wouldn't be able to read it. So it's more for seeing it as you get out of the car more than when you get in the car, I suppose. Still, it looks cool. So clever. I don't even know how these things work, but I reckon they're pretty clever. Hmm. That'll look cool at night. Sweet. Here's what the uh, Subaru logos look, by the way, guys. I don't know if you guys can see the car or not. The screen on my camera looks a bit dark, but... There's the door anyway, there's the Sparrow logo. I do wish those were turned that way. I think that's actually what they look like on the picture in the auction, but you know, whatever, not a huge deal. That one. Check out the blue coming off the back of that. I actually really like that. Passenger side, Sabaru. 
here's what the uh, park lights look like. Yeah, anything else on? I think I might. Yeah, just a touch, just a touch of blue. Turn the fog lights on because I usually have those on. Dip. Starting to look pretty cool. What does it look like without the fog lights? But that actually looks really mean. I like that. I actually really like that. I can't wait till I get some interior driving lights going on in here, like some alley, some white beams, of some sort. And when you put it on high beam, I'm pretty sure you can't see those blue lights anymore. Not really. Yeah, that's pretty much what it looks like at night. It's looking quite cool. The Subaru things. I do really like. I just wish they were facing the other way. I don't really know how to fix that. I don't think I could, you know, pop those things open and modify them. But oh well. When it's open, the when you open the door like that, it makes sense to have it that way. That's the that's this video, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. It's just a couple of little touch uppy things, adding a little bit of a uh, little bit of flair, a little bit of wank value to the legacy. If you got any any other ideas, drop them in the comments box, and I'll have a look at them. I do read all of the comments, so uh, drop me a comment, say hi. Steering wheel controls look pretty mean now, now they're both, they're both lit up red. Obviously the right hand side, left hand side, I, I don't know if it's just me or if I'm being paranoid or what, but I'm sure the right hand side is slightly brighter. I think that just must be because of the different uh, year, like this is like a 2014 thing, this part was made for an older uh, car, so maybe it's got slightly brighter LEDs in this one. It could either be that, or it could be that it's just an effect that my that it's having on my eyes because of the fact that this side has a black background and this side doesn't. That or the fact that you know there's thicker bars of white on this side than there is this. But I don't know, when you compare like those bars on the volume and the cruise control they seem, that one does seem brighter. Not sure. Something else that's actually factory about this car that I didn't know if you guys noticed is up here there's a little blue LED and that was already in the car, I didn't put that in and that shines down on the centre console here. So if I put my thumb over it, like, see? It actually like glows up this whole little area in blue, which actually looks quite cool, especially now that we've got everything else in red. Turn the heater on, that's what that looks like. Oh, right, I was saying before, cause um, my camera kept cutting out. If you guys, uh, if, you, if you didn't know what else I've done, so I've obviously done the foot wells, uh, I've done the cup holder that's got some red LEDs in there. And I've done the centre console here with a red uh, eagle eye LED. I've done the glove box with a red eagle eye LED. And I've put a voltmeter in just there as well. And that turns on and off with accessory. As I've said in my other videos with my other red LED installs, I do have a few more to do. I plan on putting a red eagle eye LED underneath the heater console here to light up this area. And also one in each door pocket down at the bottom and they're going to be wired up the same way as the footwell ones so that they turn on either when you open the door or when you turn the park lights on. As I was saying before I got distracted again, that's it from me guys. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Catch you in the next one.